You might want to rethink booking that Airbnb after seeing this scary video posted to the r slash ghosts subreddit by Lemonisa. The redditor writes that spooky sounds during the first night in this rental home in Norway kept waking her and her partner. This prompted her to start recording. This is what she captured. In an upper slanted window facing the living room, a mysterious white anomaly appears. After a moment, the anomaly slowly fades away before completely vanishing. It's not clear if the figure is beyond the window looking in, or something inside the house is being reflected. Some in the comments think it looks extraterrestrial. Others say it looks like a face or hand pressed against the glass. The Redditor mentions in the comments that this house was haunted. She says that they'd be sitting in the living room and would hear random things fall from the counter and strange noises from the basement. She notes that this first night in the home was especially creepy. Would you have the courage to remain a second night in the house if you saw this in the window? I sure wouldn't. A team of ghost investigators patrol through a dark farmhouse at 3 a.m. and set up their equipment. Suddenly, their thoughts are interrupted by an overwhelmingly powerful force. An adjacent door flies open soon as they shine their flashlight up into the attic. The team feels like they are being watched from something outside. They're talking about what to do next when they witness another display of brute force. And we get to experience an EVP session in the creepy abandoned house. And Something smashes the window out and they see what appears to be a white apparition slowly walking away. The object has no distinct shape and somehow seems to be both near and far at the same time. What the f is that? <gasps> Holy sh there's somebody out there! All of them scramble to the car and take one last look as they leave. It's really hard to see, but zoom in on the window and you'll see a head move away on the left side. Let me know if you see what I mean or not. Is this an authentic electronic voice phenomenon caught on camera? Published by Massage ASMR in April of 2013, this video was filmed at a temple in Egypt in October of 2012. The YouTuber's friends shared this footage with Massage ASMR. The short clip appears to have captured a strange childlike sigh while on a temple tour. According to the uploader, there were no children on the tour, which consisted of mostly Australians and South Africans. The voice sounds very out of place, which is why they thought it might be an EVP. Perhaps even speaking ancient Egyptian. Is Cleopatra trying to speak to us? What is her message to the modern world? Or is something else haunting this temple? The answer remains unclear for now. A man follows footprints across a vast and frozen landscape at night with only his camera light to guide him. The sound of each step amplified by crisp fallen snow crushed underfoot. The mysterious footprints trail off at a lone tree, evenly split down the middle. He looks up, two peering eyes reflect back at him and he immediately runs away. The eyes are low and spread apart, so it could be some wildlife, maybe an owl, but that still doesn't explain why the footsteps lead directly to this spot, nor does it explain what happened at 38 seconds, when this creature might close one eye to give a knowing wink. This scary video captured an inhuman humanoid figure lurking over a human habitat and it has been trending in the Spanish speaking YouTube community. Taken in someone's backyard, you first see a pool with trees beyond. It looks as though the cameraman is searching for something in the foliage. He then turns to the roof of the home. The roof at first seems to be empty, but when the cameraman turns completely to the right, this terrifying figure is spotted. Its fleshy skin is a raw, sunburnt pink. Its limbs are somewhat elongated. Its shoulders are hunchbacked, and its pinhead is on a neck that's uncannily long. The creepiest part of it is that the figure is looking right at him. 
It stays still for a second, its eyes glowing as it watches the unsuspecting cameraman before leaping with cat-like reflexes over the other side of the roof and out of sight. If this footage is real, then I have no idea. Creature sighting is rumored to have been caught on the cell phone camera of a farmer somewhere in India who kept hearing scary noises coming from the woods nearby. When he goes to the edge of the forest, all he can hear is crickets. But it's not because he's alone. Far from it. It's because the mysterious creature is silently waiting not too far away. This could be a wendigo, a skinwalker, or some other creature that's unknown. Assuming that this is not computer effects, I have little doubt that the creature would have descended upon the farmer from the treetops had he not spotted it with his cell phone camera first. At 49 seconds, its mouth is wide open and it looks ready to pounce. A life ceremony in France starts out normal enough until 7 minutes and 11 seconds when an object moves on its own like a ghost is about to throw it. The object levitates until the clergyman puts his hands down, at which point it stops. This happened on live TV in front of thousands, so someone tell me how it could be fake. Stranger still, a man in the audience claims to have seen a supernatural apparition in the dark doorway. A ghostly figure with a white face and hair who watches the ceremony from afar. The full version of this video has never been put online, to my knowledge, but this picture apparently shows the figure. I think there is a good chance that it is Photoshop, but it looks creepy and is worth mentioning. So if anyone out there is good with Photoshop, then let me know if this is a real picture, or if this scary face was edited. Lurie Glow has a haunted home that keeps him on edge at all times. He records down the hallway because a ghost is down there. He's sure of it. I'm not sure what he is saying and need your help to fully understand. <laughs> He hears a loud noise from behind as the ghost walks past and touches a light. The living room is where he experiences the most paranormal activity. So there's already a second camera all set up. Here is the same scary moment from a different angle. As you can see, he hears a bang, turns around, and that's when this stuffed animal gets possessed. Is someone pulling strings off camera or are these objects moving on their own? A family outing is interrupted when an unknown object floats towards them, barely noticeable at first if not for its shimmering color and odd movements just beneath the surface. As they curiously approach, they can see it's not an object floating underwater, but rather an unidentified creature, an unknown worm-like blob that makes one of them turn away in fear. This is his real reaction caught on camera. Tell me what language this is and what's being said so we know where this video was taken from. <laughs> At 37 seconds, a brave family member tries to grab it with their bare hands and back underwater the creature goes. They claim to have a second video which, as of this time, has yet to be uploaded. According to them, the bottom of the creature has a face with one dark eye. Hopefully they upload part two of this creature sighting soon so we can all see it. It looks real so far, but I will reserve my final analysis until then. There's a YouTuber named Anonymous Web who's developed a scary habit, the need to buy scary things off of the deep web. His channel has only been around for a few months and already he's gotten himself into more trouble than he was expecting, but more on that in a second. First, let's go over some of his most recent buys. On March 7, 2020, a deep web package arrives after a three week wait. Anonymous Web had already given up hope that he would ever get it and figured he had been ripped off. Seeing it in person fills him with unexplainable dread before he even opens it because he had ordered it from a website about witchcraft and demonology. Inside is a colorful doll with a dark message. Pins are stuck in its feet, face, and forehead. A yellow page appears to be instructions to do some sort of ritual. Here are the steps. First, he sprinkles some kind of black ash around the doll in a circle. 
Tell me if this looks like someone's cremated remains. Next, he puts the candles on both sides of the doll. The lighter that came in the box doesn't work, so he gets up to find another one. And at 17 minutes and 35 seconds, something happens. The doll appears to move ever so slightly. If this was someone's remains, then maybe he transferred their life into the doll. Anonymous Web doesn't think much of it until he gets another potentially possessed Dark Web doll on May 16th, 2020. He buys the box from the same person, which doesn't make sense if he thinks the first one didn't work. But maybe he saw the part where it moved and bought one more. The doll has a male symbol on its forehead, to the right of which is a triangle, perhaps an all-seeing pyramid eye, with black spikes pushed through. Holes are drilled in the mouth to form a wicked smile. A burnt letter is soaked in something. It reads, In night I seek, in dark I breathe, and if you say its name twice, the curse is said to end your life. Its name is Ken Ken. You're only supposed to say it twice, but Anonymous Web says it three times just to be sure. I'm going to Ken, 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 Ken. A big mistake he later regrets. Ken. Ooh. It looks like he uses one of the candles to set the doll's dress aflame. You can hear him pick up a candle and slam it down really fast. But look again. There's no candle where his free hand is. He even puts paper down where the candle would theoretically have to be. There are only two candles within reach, these two, and he clearly doesn't touch either of them when the doll goes up in flames. The reason why I've shown you these two videos is to better explain the third. On June 2nd, 2020, exactly 13 days after releasing the curse of the previous doll, something began rummaging around his bedroom from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. It starts around his dresser. Then it moves to the far wall. After pulling on the doorknob with all its strength, it sounds exhausted afterwards and can't get free. After a long time, it returns to stomp across the room. And later that night, it gets out. So this would be terrifying if it was real, but I'm not sure if it's fake. I think he could have been standing behind the dresser and pushed the flowers over himself. Likewise, he could have reached around and opened the drawers himself. The footsteps and exhale would have been his own. He could have touched the bed himself off camera to make it squeak, but I don't know how he moved the picture. That's really strange. And then there's the very end when he comes back into the room and sees his room is messed up. Yeah, f you. Someone could have shut off the camera from the bottom, but at 2 minutes and 7 seconds, you can see the entire doorway immediately after it happens, and no one is there. This man thought he'd get away with it, but he was sorely mistaken. Published by Rio Link in July of 2019, the suspect is seen crossing a quiet road at night in June of 2019 at around 3 in the morning. As the vehicle approaches, he hurries across the road and hides under the front end of a parked truck in a driveway. After the vehicle passes, the dude rolls from under the truck and puts his hood on. He then tries to enter the truck because the door is unlocked. But before he can snatch any valuables, the car alarm goes off, undoubtedly waking up the whole neighborhood. and the would-be burglar flees across the street. 
I think we can all agree this attempt failed miserably. YouTuber Hype Mike heard unexplained sounds in this haunted mansion during a night he'll never forget. His cruise adventure gets off to a really rocky start. What the f is that? What, what was that? Do you see that? What, what the f is that? What? Dude, I don't know what the f is. Did you hit something? Michelle, did you hit something? I don't know. I, I think hit so. something. Okay, everyone out. Let's go. Let's go. They discover he did hit something, but they have no idea where it went. What is that? Oh, Wait, what? what? Look, look! Wait. Yeah. That's oh so my What the heck is that? Did, did you see it? There was something. It was like, uh, I, I couldn't get a good look at it. I just saw like a black shadow that just ran across. Dude, they find that whatever it was left a trail, though. Dude, this is like a lot, a lot of though. Well, keep, keep following it. Well, Wait. obviously friends would. Look at this. Oh, yeah, I'm a <gasps> Then they hear the sound. Is somebody there? Hello? There's like a tree. Oh, oh my I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going in the car. Yeah, let's let's go into the car right now, okay? Something is buried in the debris of this house. Published by Proving Demons in December of 2021, these paranormal explorers couldn't last the whole night in this very haunted house. Immediately upon entering, they see that this house houses some strange stuff. They soon start to hear creepy noises as well. I know, so just stick close to me. What was that They also think they hear walking upstairs. Yo, is there somebody in here? As they're looking up the stairs, they start to hear a woman's voice humming. They don't encounter whatever is making the noise, but later as they're about to use a paranormal device, they hear another strange sound. A second sound follows as they're trying to make their way through all the garbage to leave. Come with me. They manage to get out of the place, and maybe just in time. A group of ghost hunters called PXTV go deep in the Wombwell Woods, a haunted forest in the UK where many people sadly go to take their lives. They split up to cover maximum ground and one of them, Steve, finds a spot he deems suitable to begin an EVP session, which stands for Electronic Voice Phenomenon. He sets up his EVP box and asks any spirits nearby to make a light go on. When it does, he asks for two lights, but gets this verbal warning instead. Can you make two lights light up? Ovilus has just said run. But something descends upon Steve before he gets a chance to do as told. I didn't exactly see anything, but Steve says that he was pushed out of the way by something nearby. And when he looks at his EVP box, the translator displays the word RUN written in all capitals. I'm not sure if there's any way to tamper with these devices and make them say pre-programmed messages or not, but assuming this video really is unaltered, then the evidence is all right there to see. These books appear to be flying off the shelf all by themselves at an Alamo gift shop after hours. It's hard to tell if they were truly pulled out by a ghost or if someone was just pushing them from the other side of the shelf and playing a prank. We'll never know for sure, but if this were to happen anywhere in Texas, then a historical site like the Alamo would be a very likely location. Two friends are riding down the Karela Highway in India when they see what they later agree has to have been a ghost of some kind. <laughs> The figure is dressed in pure white and holding something, maybe a flashlight. Creepiest of all is how they seem to be deeply staring into the darkness at something. They are in such a deep state of concentration that they don't even look up when the car zooms by just a few feet away. They remain frozen in place and seem to be holding their face in surprise. If this is a ghost, then they could have been looking at the roadside remains of their own body. What happens when a flight goes haywire mid-air? Passengers of JetBlue Flight 292 found out firsthand on their flights from California to New York. 
a flight that ended in flames, smoke, and sparks. After the flight took off from Burbank's Bob Hope Airport, an indicator light came on noting that there was an issue with the landing gear. The front tires of the airplane had swiveled sideways and were frozen there, as the retraction gear hadn't fully retracted. With 146 passengers on board, the airliner swung laps in the California sky for three hours to burn off fuel so that their emergency landing wouldn't be so fiery. They were told to land at LAX, as it was supplied with more emergency equipment and a longer runway on which to land. The pilot would land it using primarily the back wheels of the airliner. All the while, people were watching this scary event live at home on TV. Passengers were watching it on their tiny TV monitors on the back side of each seat. Loads of emergency equipment sat ready on the runway, while more than 100 firefighters awaited the landing. Time stood still, with thousands stopping on highways and watching from nearby buildings. As the jetliner made its final approach, passengers were told to get in the brace position. As they prepared for landing, needless to say, many feared for their lives in this moment. But the pilot managed to land softly on the runway, on the plane's back wheels. It was the smoothest landing I ever had, one passenger said. As its front end touched down, friction sent up plenty of sparks and blaze. But the fire subdued quickly. The passengers, and everyone watching, were relieved that this scary, intense event didn't end up much worse. Applause broke out on board for the pilots and crew. The pilot's cool-headed grid has since been praised the world over, as it should be. A YouTuber named Revo X encounters a wild pheasant in the graveyard that is not at all afraid. The colorful bird looks over its shoulder to make sure he is watching, and then takes the lead, guiding him someplace quite important that I'll reveal in just a moment. It hops off the road, and at 1 minute and 8 seconds, walks this little beaten trail of matted grass. Have you ever seen anything like it before? That's been trampled over many times before. The determined little bird stops and circles back to the human, again showing absolutely no signs of fear. It even looks straight at him, at the end like it knows what is being said. There's my mum's grave. And it will remain, as it has done for the past few days, going round and round it. So is this a real spirit guide or just a pet? Some Native Americans believed pheasants to be a sign of protection and concealment because they like to bury themselves in tall grass, a creepy behavior when taken within the context of a graveyard. They can be tamed, but even if this is a pet, I don't think you can teach it to lead you somewhere for over a minute, and I never see it get a food treat as a reward or anything, so I think it's real. A YouTuber named Terrapin Joe has handcrafted a collection of sailors that, when activated together, fills the house with a shrieking laughter that can drive you insane. <laughs> Maybe this is just a part of the sound sample being used, but I think I can hear one of them screaming louder than the rest here at 36 seconds into the video. <laughs> Not only that, but the eye of this one becomes totally black at 46 seconds before going back to normal, almost like it's giving you a wink. YouTuber Chad Miller found a secret room in the attic of his house. You don't see this every day, he writes. You certainly don't. It looks like Chad is just moving into a new house, and now the fun begins. It's time to explore it. Inside a closet, he finds a ladder-like stairwell leading into a secret hidden room. As he crawls in, you find that it doesn't look like any old attic, unfinished with cobwebs and stacked with unruly odds and ends. Instead, the attic looks well finished with wooden walls, light fixtures and a nice clean space. It's like a sauna but air conditioned, Chad says. It does in fact look like a sauna. The room is rather large, with all wooden walls and even a couple of wooden benches. What was this super secret room used for? We can only guess. All I know is that I wouldn't mind finding this secret room in my new home. What is this being lurking in the forest? YouTuber Fish on Fish Out returned to his favorite fishing spot with the boys when he spotted this.
What was that? I'm not sure what that is. Could it be pareidolia? Maybe. But I think it's a demon lurking. Angry that they took his favorite fishing hole. Chris Moon is a paranormal expert who travels around the country, demonstrating the metaphysical properties of the spirit world. This time he is using a spirit box at the Cornell College in Iowa, when suddenly a student's jewelry does something I've never seen before. Can we get oh <laughs> Relax, everybody, don't crowd her, please. If we get it, we're filming it, it's okay. Her necklace starts going berserk as the spirit apparently tries to get her attention. She then hears a familiar voice come across the spirit box and immediately bursts into tears. The voice talking to her, she believes, was an old volleyball coach who passed away. I just wanted me to tell you hi. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> he misses you so much. Chris Moon says awe and points to the box when he hears it. This video certainly captured some convincing evidence of the spirit world that Chris is trying to prove exists. This entry is a double dose. The first video comes to us from YouTuber Black Cat in November of 2021. The cameraman is filming from outside a bedroom. At first everything is still and silent. Then the wardrobe doors swing open and close. Plastic bags and other objects are all tossed out of it. They aren't tumbling out. They're literally being ejected. When the cameraman enters to investigate the wardrobe, you can see there is shelving that would prevent anyone of a normal size from hiding in there, out of view and throwing the stuff out. As the camera pans over the wardrobe, noise is heard from behind the cameraman, who jerks around to find a bunch of papers being dispelled from I'm not sure where. While this poltergeist mystery goes unsolved, let's turn to the next one. Published by Nikki McMillan in November of 2021, this security footage was captured at Nikki's workplace. Fine porcelain and glassware is encased in glass in the shop. Nobody is around. Then a solid frame decides to skydive from a shelf in the hallway. There's nothing behind the frame and nothing on the shelf that would have caused it to spring overboard. A closer view of the shelf makes us all the more mysterious. Like the activity in the other video, the frame does not look like it just tumbled from the shelf. It appears as though it's being actively ejected. What witchcraft is at play here? Are these just random tumblings? Or are these entities actively poltergeisting? A YouTuber named Goodnote is exploring the Illinois countryside when he stumbles upon a secluded burial ground in the middle of nowhere. He instantly recognizes this place as the Witch's Circle, a nefarious hangout where certain people have been known to practice black magic and summon spirits. Goodnote breaks out his drone for a better look, but the wind seems to mysteriously pick up every time he tries to take flight. I personally don't see anything out of the ordinary here, but let me know if you do. Anyway, there's another video that he took on foot that I'm way more interested in. He shot this at the beginning of the visit. He's walking up to the entrance and says he got a really weird feeling. Then his phone's battery goes from 52% to zero and suddenly shuts off. What's even weirder is how, no matter how hard he tries, he can't seem to upload this video onto any other mobile device. It plays perfectly fine on his phone and nothing else. The only way he was able to get it on YouTube was by filming the screen with another camera. I tried not to make assumptions without having enough evidence, but it's almost as if something really didn't want to be seen or shared with us on that gray, overcast day. While exploring an abandoned place, this paranormal crew found a demonic doll. What followed next was shocking. Published by Toppy in December of 2021, Sergei takes this rickety staircase into the attic where he finds this creepy doll. After handing the doll to Nastya, they decide to take it with them. Sergei says they sat in the haunted home for 15 minutes. 
and heard noises that were unfortunately not recorded. It's unclear if their cameras malfunctioned or what went on, but they have decided to try and communicate with the spirits through the doll. After the doll tells them, let's play, the pair decide to pack it up and head home. But before they do, this happens. Is this doll truly possessed? Or was it just exercised of its demons? Have you ever had a stalker? YouTuber Kev from Crypto NWO has, and his stalker just took it to the next level by sending him a thumb drive. There are some strange pics on it and some video files. Let's take a look. Security footage captures the stalker peering into the YouTuber's home. Kev is setting up a camera inside. A second piece of security footage captures the stalker approaching the house and ringing the doorbell. Dude is already gone. He uh, Look where he runs. I didn't check the way he ran, but I looked at the footage afterwards. So, knocked on my door. Knocking on my door right now. I, there's no, I, by the way, I haven't seen any videos or anything. Okay, he recorded my door, he ran off. He hears a knock at the door. Here, my door's gonna open, there, boom, I open my door. Nobody's at my door and I'm like, what the f I, I'm tripping out right now, I'm actually thinking, is this, like, are these kids doing this? Or is this like, the entire stalker situation? And then he heads outside to check it out. I don't know why my camera didn't catch me walking out the front door. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm literally, I can't see. I'm looking down my street towards the left of my street. I'm looking to the right of my street now. I'm pulling out my phone. Kev is then seen looking for the perp down the street. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm tripping out right now. I'm looking down my street. I saw somebody walking, but they had their dog with them. And it was like a teenager, so I'm thinking maybe it's that person. But at the same time, I'm tripping the right now because this person cut. After Kev re-enters his home, a car is seen in the distance driving in the other direction. The cameras are glitching like crazy. Open the door. I close it. Cars driving this way. What is the stalker? A second video captures what appears to be the same guy doing this again. Another one here. But dude, coming up to my camera, there was a flashlight on his phone. I hope he's not recording a video. W run sprints this time. This time he didn't even hold back. Ran same place, same direction. Didn't even hold back. Kev heads outside again to look around. Two, one, now. I have a baseball bat in my hand. I'm tripping out. I'm actually tripping out. I'm trying to act tough here, but I'm actually shaking. I'm really, really scared. It's actually relatively cold this time of the year. Of course, he finds no one. What do you think this stalker is trying to achieve by this? Knocking on his door again and again. I think he is trying to build up Kevin's fear, a fear of the unknown, and it seems like he's succeeding. Is that a hula hoop? Posted to TikTok by Camilo Rodriguez, a dark ring looks like it's burnt into the sky above. The mysterious video was captured in Colombia on March 6, 2022. After searching for some explanation, I couldn't find any for this specific ring, but I have found that it's not unique. One appeared over Pakistan in 2020 and is thought to have been caused by a small combustion blast through a circular structure. Again, one in Britain in 2014. This was traced back to a fireworks test. And finally, over Chicago in 2012, this one traced to the rupture of an electrical transformer. So while this may look like an ominous vortex to misery, I guess it's actually an ominous vortex of mystery. Mr. Green published this video in 2016. His description reads, Just a normal night with me, the missus, and our dog Freddy. Then, all of a sudden, he went mental at the wall or window, and whatever it was just touched him. This is no joke. I'm freaking out. The dog is barking at the window in the beginning of the clip. Then, suddenly, he backs away sharply and quickly. The couple believes the ghost touched their dog because of this jerking movement. The window. 
What the f The dog spends the remainder of the video running around the house like a madman, looking for the ghost. He's no longer barking, but he does seem very agitated. His owner tells him to calm down now, and he does seem to calm down for a moment. But when the owner picks him up to hold him, he starts barking hysterically again. What could have touched that poor dog? Was it a ghost? If it was a ghost, what did it want and where did it go? This paranormal investigator regularly observes the Savannah Theater. This is one of the first videos Redditor Background Ad 6785 captured there. Look at how much it slows down. Yeah. That's so and the insane. Shape is just what threw me off. Wait, show the. Do you see the thing flying around? Much it slows down. Yeah. That's so insane. Shape. Why does it slow down so much? Some in the comments think it's dust or a moth. I do think both theories are likely, but I'd prefer to think there's something more mysterious happening at the Savannah Theater. These contractors find themselves stuck on a roof after their ladder collapses, leaving them stranded 14 feet in the air with no way down. Soon they improvise a safety harness that looks to be little more than some cords haphazardly knotted together. I really doubt this design would realistically hold his weight but let me know what you think. They are trying to figure out what to do next when they see something in the distance. Watch his feet closely and tell me if he looks like he almost loses his balance at the end. There's a car! He carefully lowers himself to the bottom and manages not to break the harness. The harness appears to be very loose at the end and could have come undone at any second. They show the drop at the end and it definitely looks like they were high up enough to cause some serious damage. This footage was apparently found inside the Penhurst Asylum, which is a real abandoned place located in Pennsylvania. The footage contains two students exploring the clearly abandoned building, and while nothing too bizarre happens in this footage, the backstory and timing are enough to make you scream. The two student explorers were never seen again after this. Well, that is terrifying enough. I want you to focus on the timestamp in the corner. Notice how they are ending up in new spots in the asylum at a faster and faster rate. Near the end of the video, the pair end up in the forest at a rate where the speed they are traveling is simply inhuman. What do you think is happening here? If this footage is real, then it is a case where the happenings would never be believed, if not for it being recorded. In 2010, a man from South Jersey named Nick mysteriously went missing. His older brother Mark vanished shortly thereafter. Their small town was devastated by these back-to-back -back disappearances and feared the worst. There wasn't a shred of evidence for police to go off of, at least not until a few months later when one of Nick's high school acquaintances receives this mysterious post office package. Inside the package are memory cards and hard drives with hundreds of videos to analyze. Eerily enough, the return address was Nick's house, so either Nick sent this himself or someone else mailed it on his behalf well after his disappearance. Perhaps it was sent by whoever was responsible. A lot of the videos are typical teenage vlogging material you'd expect from 2010. Basic stuff like making a sandwich or watching TV. But on the other hand, there are at least 30 videos containing super creepy information relevant to his whereabouts, or should I say his possible remains. Let's retrace Nick's steps. On September 3rd, 2010, Nick goes to the notoriously haunted Pleasant Mill Cemetery in Batstow, Jersey to see what he can find. On the other side of an old bridge in the woods, he sees some 1800 burial markers and an old church that makes him feel creeped out. Though whatever he thinks he sees while standing on this bridge is what freaks him out the most. This is where voices are said to sometimes be heard on the water. Tell me if you see anything. I honestly can't say I see anything strange, but maybe something was there that didn't show up on camera. 
The video ends with him running back to his car looking very serious and scared, wide eyes and all, so he probably really did see something strange. He never wants to go back there again, but at sometimes the experience eats away at him until a week later on September 10th when he goes back to settle his curiosity once and for all, this time with his friend Austin. Night has fallen by the time they arrive. There's not much activity by the old church, so they walk over to the river. They don't hear anything and aren't really that scared, so they challenge each other to sit in the darkness under the bridge, the very same bridge where Nick first saw something, mind you. And as soon as their lights go out, they make contact. You hear that? When they turn their lights on to see what's out there, they see this broad goblin-like face looking back at them, soon followed by a splash of water, like something jumping at them, or else reaching up from the depths below. Away they run and away it follows. I don't know what this thing is, but since they've disturbed its home twice now, it decides to return the favor. What you're about to witness happened on the very same night. Nick sees movement behind this curtain wall and thinks it has to be his older brother Mark. It certainly looks like someone's hands, and yet no one's there. Suddenly it grows very cold where he's standing, cold enough to see his own breath, which is odd considering it isn't cold enough to see his breath when he's outside looking for Mark. They really should have stopped going there, but on September 18th they try again. This time after following these strange lights in the woods, they discover something they were never meant to have. This nondescript book has no title, but I want to know more about this strange binding. It looks like part of a protective ritual, or maybe even a curse upon whoever opens it without permission. Nick grabs it and they go get something to eat, and that's subsequently when they start getting followed even worse than ever before. By now, Nick and Austin have developed somewhat of an unhealthy obsession with the Pleasant Mill Cemetery. It scares them, but it also attracts them and they can't stop going. Maybe something there is enticing them to return. <laughs> something that wants its book back, and the more times they visit, the stronger its presence becomes at home. What? Tired of this. Wait. What the? When you look at the picture before it falls at 10 minutes and 28 seconds, I think it's a picture of Mark, the older brother who would soon disappear. On September 27th, Nick and Austin make a discovery that they seem to shrug off but I think is important. It's inside of an old house that they find not too far from the cemetery. The outside looks like it went ablaze a long time ago. Through a square hole in the floor, they spy an area that looks like it could have been a secret chamber when covered. They get a really bad feeling and don't want to go down, but Austin makes a simple observation that I think speaks volumes. Oh, it smells. Alright, we're wasting time. We gotta go. It could be mold, or it could be a body that hasn't been disturbed in quite some time. Things get really crazy after they discover the possible body. By November 2nd, Mark is gone and nobody knows where he went. Nick goes back to the cemetery to look for his brother, and this final recording is what he finds. A tall figure with an all-white face marches toward him, with a long tool in his hand. All I will say is that it looks like Nick sadly met the same fate as his brother. You're bound to come across strange things in the middle of nowhere. Published in October of 2019, the cameraman sets out into the forest on the outskirts of the city of Perm, and what he finds is that it's occupied. He eventually arrives at this strange structure, plastic sheets topped by wooden planks. When he removes one of the sheets, you see that it leads into an underground hovel of some sort. 
Deeper into the forest, he encounters another strange structure. This one again is made up of plastic and tarps, but it's been built above ground between two trees. There is a pair of jeans hanging on a limb, a plastic bag hanging from another, and a whole pile of garbage scattered on the ground. He peers inside to find someone sleeping in the shelter. He hurries away but comes across one last structure in his journey. When he peeks in, you can tell that someone lives inside this one too, but there's no one home at this time. One side is covered in branches to camouflage the structure, while items are hung on a line to dry. Obviously, it looks like a small community of people live in this forest, and I'm not sure how friendly they're gonna be to this guy popping in to say hi. The crew from Rhoda X, Investigaso Paranormal, enters a house with many demons. Even before entering, they spot on the roof. Fica um homem de preto ali em cima. Is that a gargoyle? The cameraman then captures this terrifying anomaly in a window. They get a reading on their EMF meter, and energy is near. Then, one of their paranormal devices jumps off the charts. And it continues to go haywire around their equipment. Lastly, this happens. That was obviously a bat, but what about the other creepy captures? This one in particular haunts me. <laughs> This miniature forest figure has viewers puzzled. Posted on TikTok by Satpam Horror, a small Barbie-sized creature was captured walking at the edge of the forest. Watch closely. The figure looks just like a human in miniature. What is it though? I'm not sure what this humanoid creature could be, but its movements do not look animated, and it seems to blend well with the setting. Any ideas? Leave them in the comment. This rare video was taken about a year ago. During the middle of a seance, the group is moving the pointer in a circle to clear the board when suddenly the camera woman asks, Can you manifest into an orb near Sam? There is a bit of an accent, but her exact words are, Can you manifest into an orb near Sam? Sure enough, a tiny ball of white light darts past the group shortly after. It could be editing, it could be a coincidence, or it could be a very polite and respectful ghost who is doing exactly as they were told. Creepy lights in a dark basement, a sure sign that something in your house has gone wrong. A YouTuber named The Drum Player once Zero one has a quick clip of something strange caught on camera. Lately I've been seeing and hearing weird things in my basement. Let's go check it out. Oh. What? Go, go. Glowing eyes look back at them from within the darkness, and the two scared brothers run away. When they return for a second, they find it's still there, a small creature low to the ground with large, unblinking eyes. 
They say it's a ghost, but it could be a fake video using their pet cat. I thought it was weird of them to keep their cat in the basement, in the dark, but I looked it up. And sometimes they do like curling up in small, isolated spaces. At 13 seconds, it looks like the animal is raising its head like it was taking a nap. Cat eyes can reflect a large ray of colors. And blue, while not as common, is not unheard of. So I don't believe this video is real. With that said, this video of creepy eyes watching you from the darkness could help explain all of the other similar videos like it. Number 2 This video is short and sweet and will leave you frozen in fear. Shared by Twitter user Casos Paranormales. No context has been shared. So let's just watch. Here's what I can collect is happening here. First off, the garbage scattered around the room is oddly unsettling. But this takes the cake. I'm not sure what's exactly happening in this video, but I do want to yeet it to the sun. Have you ever seen videos on social media that were so concerning that you considered calling the cops? A redditor explains that this days old TikTok account is posting disturbing videos. He writes that the video's creator keeps posting 15 second clips over several days and that neither viewers nor the platform appear to have alerted authorities. The clip posted by Mandy shows a woman on a baby cam crying while having her hair brushed by a man. When her head droops, he lifts her chin back up to face the camera. Some in the comments say that it's so creepy they can't even watch. Excited Koalas 29 mentions, if y'all look at the people they're following, this starts to look like a new horror account. They're following a lot of verified users, as well as celebrities. That's always a good sign that it's fake. Although Koala says he isn't trying to discredit the clip, which could potentially be real, we hope that he is right that it's some sort of horrible horror fiction. Other clips posted by Mandy shows the girl as well. In one of them, the girl is wringing her hands before being fed something from a man off screen, who then pets her hair. Another clip shows her rocking back and forth, and in yet another, she seems to be eating something off the ground. Redditor Jula Mad weighs in. The content is gross one way or another and needs to be reported to the authorities. If this is real, then I definitely agree. But as the other Redditor pointed out, there's a good chance it isn't. Two friends are hanging out when one challenges the other to make a real ghost video in the closet of his haunted house to see what paranormal activity takes place. His friend only half believes him, so imagine his surprise at the scary moments caught on camera next. Don't swear it's in it. Just go away. Wait, what was that? What was that? Oh my god, what's that? What is it? What is it? It's gone. His skepticism melts when a pale face regards them from the darkness. As they ask each other what it is, the figure moves away from them and they dare not follow. This creepy video could simply be someone shining a flashlight in their face to create the illusion of a ghost. Except for one thing, there are two dark holes where the eyes should be. This looks like it could be a black-eyed ghost sighting as they are known to follow people home after exploring the forest, but the most likely scenario is that this is just a mannequin and nothing more. Whatever it is, it's not a person, and there's just enough room for speculation to make you wonder if the scary stuff in this video is real. Only they know if this was a real ghost video or not. Susan Payton One is enjoying some quality time with her family when she and her husband both noticed something grab the attention of their infant toddler. Oh my do it. The child's face changes from amusement to confusion as he apparently turns to watch something pass by. Then, moments later, an orb silently streaks overhead. Even stranger are the song lyrics playing in the background. Something appears to walk past the child, 
and possibly exit the room just as the children's song announces, say bye bye. A YouTuber named Visually Creeped TV is walking around a cemetery in Wisconsin when he hears creepy whistling from within a crypt that is locked and 100 years old. Take a look and try to tell me which direction you think it's coming from. Let's go walk down here. What the f The only thing I find odd is that he initially looks in the opposite way of the crypt when he first hears the noise. If the whistle was truly coming from inside of the crypt, I think he would instinctively turn the other way. He quickly walks around the crypt to verify no one is around, and then he hears the whistle again, this time where he just was moments ago. Oh, like, right behind me. Hello? Overall, there's no easy way to fake this video. It doesn't really sound like speakers or anything like that, and it does sound like it's coming from inside of this structure. But the gates are chained shut. Why do some people gotta do such creepy stuff? TikToker Unpopular Notes captured this creep creeping outside someone's house. In 2018, this woman kept hearing strange sounds outside of her bedroom window. It had been going on for three weeks, so naturally, she set up a security camera. This is what she found. She captured the stalker peering into her bedroom window. When he spotted the security camera, he quickly left but returned to take it. It's unclear if this guy was ever captured, but I think I'd be installing another camera. Or six. This terrifying capture is shared by YouTuber Faces of the Forgotten. This is not a video. It's a photograph of the scene of an accident in which an apparition appears above the vehicle and it looks like it's screaming. The YouTuber shares the photograph in question. Some believe it's the screaming soul of the accident's victim. In fact, it does very much look like that individual. Is this photographic evidence of a soul leaving its body? The individual was only 16 years old when he lost his life. While this could have been photoshopped, as some are suggesting in the comments, this story gives me goosebumps, and the image does look pretty convincing to me. What do you think? Donnie and Tony partner up to form a freaky ghost hunting channel called Danton Paranormal. This time, the pair are exploring a spooky cemetery known only as the Labyrinth exact location unknown. What they found in this haunted place is beyond words and without explanation. Watch the far doorway and you'll see it too. The thing that weirded them out for life. I'm pulling. As you can see, a tall figure blocks the top of the stairs. When they get too close, the peculiar shadow curiously disappears. After reviewing the evidence, Danton Paranormal wonders if they've actually captured a real ghost on video. They didn't notice the creepy shadow until reviewing the tape much later. The shadow figure looks creepy and appears to have no natural source, at least not one from our side of this world. Tell me if you think this was a true sighting, and more importantly, if you would be brave enough to go up to that door and face whatever that was. I don't think I could ever return for a follow-up investigation but I hope they do. Archie Dennis is the name of a Philadelphia man who lives in what he believes is an extremely haunted home. 
He and his family have been dealing with whatever's down there for more than seven years. It's all well documented on their YouTube channel. I encourage you to watch all the evidence for yourself. But for now, Chills has picked out some videos to help get you started. Ones that make you the most curious. This early encounter takes place on May 17th, 2013. Back when he was less used to it and more afraid. Arky is looking down the steps when something on his spirit box encourages him to go in there, followed by a mysterious phrase in another language that I need your help to translate. You are a demon. You are a demon. Arky says down the steps. It sounds like a statement, but it's actually a question. Something he has always wanted to know. It never says anything back, but this time it does show a sign that yes, it is one indeed. The light turns on behind him, even though he is nowhere near the switch, and it continues to do so as he films in stunned amazement. Who are you? Say your name. Suddenly, his cats rush up the steps like they are running away from something. Though I suspect they could have been chasing each other. He crosses the room at 1 minute and 48 seconds. The lights seem to move on their own while an orb also comes close. It can't be him moving the lights because one hand is on the camera and the other is flipping the switch to no avail. I was thinking that maybe somebody was controlling the real light switch from the other room. But at 1 minute and 58 seconds, the light seems to glow even brighter than before. And he sounds noticeably upset as he steps away. Oh man. Oh. His fear has probably emboldened the spirit and things have gone way too far if you ask me. He should leave it by now, but day after day, Arki continues to ask the spirit if it was a demon whenever he thinks it's near, pestering it with the same question for weeks on end. Finally, on December 16th, 2014, it gives a clear response, and I'm talking more than a simple yes or no. The way it answers in a full sentence exactly 5 seconds after being asked is all about the paranormal proof I need to conclude this is real. But I haven't even shown you the weirdest video yet. By October 12th of 2019, the spirit has moved out of the basement and seems fixated with his children. The EMF meter is relatively normal until it passes over his crib, and I think we might be seeing a possession in real time. 2.9, that's for my baby. 3.7, 3.9, 4.0, 3.8, 4.9, 4.9. Ninth. Oh man, this, this, this is incredible. And his newborn baby is not the only one affected. The spirit seems to hover around his daughter as well. The way it appears from behind, goes to the side, and then appears to admire her is going way too far if you ask me. I don't know why Arki hasn't moved out yet, but I suspect that he may be strangely obsessed with studying it, and at this point possibly even has become sentimental. Maybe it has gotten into his mind much like it has his family, and convinced him to let it stay. This final CCTV video is when Arky gets all of the evidence that he needs. I don't know if this is editing or not, but one day he is organizing his closet when a shadow figure stands over him and makes him cower in fear. If this last video is real, which I think it could be given everything else that's happened, then I guess it proves talking to a demon for over five years is, in fact, going way too far. Would you dare to step foot in a house where someone's life was taken? The YouTube team from the New Reality Paranormal are investigating this cabin buried deep in the woods. When they first ask the spirits a question through the spirit box, they get a quick response. Is there a man here? I think we heard you. 
What did it say? It said here. It said here. Here now? It's yeah. Not? The spirits then tell the guys what they need. Please help. That's, That's what it said. It said, it said, please, it said help. please help. The team also discovers that the spirit passed away in a strange way. How did you die? Did he say cat? Did he say cat? It <laughs> said cat. It said cat. Was a cat really the culprit? As they're waiting for more communication in one room, they get some REM pod action in another. Thank you. Then the cat ball goes off elsewhere. Alright, we are back on three, two, one. Oh, the cat ball! Oh, the cat! I got it. The cat ball's going off, and and the and the REM pod at the same time. Is the spirit trying to warn them about the cat that took his life? It sure seems like it. I have chills right now, bro. It's going off again, bro. Hi. I'm looking right at it, dude. Oh my god. They ask, and they get a direct answer. Are you a cat? If you're a cat, can you touch that? There it is. Look at it. Oh my god. As the cat ball continues to go off, they hear a disembodied voice. Please tell me you heard that. Please tell me you heard that. Was it, I don't it was a voice, dude. When they do the Estes method, they're given this ominous message. So, my soul. They later head outside, and the spirits can't keep up with them. Should they really wait for him? I don't know. This spirit could be the victim, or it could be the life taker. Either way, I don't think I'd take my chances. A YouTuber named Gothboy Prince is playing with a Ouija board that refuses to cooperate with the camera. Apparently, the pointer moves on its own, but only when he's not recording. Hello? Knocking on the Ouija board isn't the only way he shows disrespect. He tries to badmouth the spirit into moving the pointer on camera for proof. I think you're a coward. That's what I think it is. I think you're nothing but a coward. Less than 10 seconds later, he gets a silent reply. At one point, Gothboy Prince hears a noise and looks up. You can see that he's sitting in bed with the Ouija board on his lap. There's absolutely no room for anyone to be controlling the pointer with a magnet from underneath, so that explanation is out. You can also see that he is alone and no one is in front of him pulling a string. As if all of this weren't already bizarre enough. You see it? The pointer moves too frequently and in too many different directions to be done with a string, which by the way would be clearly visible from this close of a distance away. Even paranormal skeptics can't explain how this pointer was able to move with no one nearby, but if you think you can, I would really like to hear the real reason. A YouTuber named RazakTube is ringing people's doorbells and then blending into their Christmas ornaments wearing a custom made suit. It's a pretty funny joke until they get to the last house. When the owner comes out brandishing a firearm and a flashlight, they duck back into their car and try to play it off. It isn't long before their cover is blown and the neighbor comes stomping over. Wait, he's right there. There's a gun. Is he coming towards us? Yeah. Hello, sir? Did you just come to my door? Knocking on my door? Sorry, I can't see anything. Yeah, you're right, you can't see anything. At this point, they stop making the YouTube video and quickly get out of there. I have little doubt that this video is completely real, especially considering the bonus footage his friend was able to shoot from the back seat. Who are you? 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 It sounds to me like he was debating on calling the cops on them, and fortunately decided not to. A dad and a daughter are all smiles as they board an elevator. The ride is smooth and they look at themselves in the mirror for about 30 seconds, completely unaware of how unsafe they actually are. 
Minutes later, the empty elevator is ripping past floors with enough speed to shake the entire carriage. The door is slightly open and nothing is working properly as the lift slams into the roof hard enough to dislodge panels and light fixtures. Thankfully, no passengers were on board, but had the two from earlier still been inside, it would have been a daddy-daughter demise for certain. I can only wonder how many times something like this has almost happened to you or me without realizing. A YouTube channel called Mux9TV goes exploring some extra scary woods in Pakistan late at night when they find some really creepy stuff that leaves them really freaked out. <laughs> Out of the woods staggers a mysterious figure who refuses to speak for a long time. His eyes look haunting, like he's seen too much in too short a time and has been wandering for days, unable to get it out of his mind. The group does not know how else to help this person, and so they recite some words of faith over him, which works to the extent of scaring him away back to wherever he came from. This doesn't look like a ghost sighting, so much as the aftermath of a person who has had a paranormal experience of their own in the forest and has succumbed to madness in the days since. Either way, they're definitely not the type of person you'd want to encounter in the woods, so I bet the group is relieved when he runs away, but at the same time, he could probably use some help. Hopefully, he finds peace, but with that scary stare, I don't see how such a thing is going to be possible. Now you see it, now you don't. Published in December of 2017, this video begins with a man speaking Arabic. No translation or subtitles are included, so we can't tell you what he's talking about as he stands outside what appears to be a normal door with an elaborate gold door frame. Over a minute into the video, he opens the door to what appears to be a normal dining room. Speaking the whole while, he enters the room and shuts the door, giving a tour of the room which is empty. He tries opening another door on one side of the room, but it's locked tight, so he enters further in what appears to be a living room. There are toys inside, a car with a doll in it, but nothing appears to be out of the ordinary. That is, until he turns to film the other side of the room and pans back to the car. No more doll. He doesn't seem to panic, and it's hard to tell if he even noticed. He continues to wander around the room. While nothing more disturbing appears to happen in the duration of the video, the man must have experienced something frightening towards the end. As fear is heard in his voice, his camera drops and he rushes out of there. <laughs> What was happening in this room? I don't know if I want to know. If you have a heart, this entry will break it. It was this woman's dream to arrive at her wedding by helicopter. She decided to surprise her husband at the altar by doing just that. Alongside her brother in July of 2017, she climbed aboard the copter. The flight took off in Brazil, just one mile from the reception venue. The excited bride-to-be and her brother are both smiling at the beginning of the video as they take off. But soon, they're swallowed up by fog. An alarm starts going off and the camera begins to shake. You can hear the passengers screaming as the pilot loses control of the copter. All four pass away in the incident. When the copter didn't arrive at the venue after 15 minutes, despite the organizers being informed of its liftoff, the pastor was forced to tell the groom the devastating news, as neither he nor any of the other 300 guests had known about the planned entrance. The incident came as an absolute horror to the entire wedding party. It's painful to imagine and harder to watch. Did this person uncover a ghost portal in their garbage bin? Shared by a now deleted Reddit account, this security footage captured something glowing from under the lid. The bin looks somewhat distorted, while rays glow from the side of the lid. Some in the comments think it can be explained. I 
I think Foji Fessy is probably right, but I'd prefer to imagine a ghost portal, a raccoon rave, or some other mutant haven lying within this trash can. Are we being possessed by shadowy forces without even knowing it? Posted on Blah Blah's channel in January of 2022, this scary video is trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. The footage shows a woman walking a dirt path along a hillside overlooking a city. She is carrying a bag and she's alone. As the cameraman follows a short way behind, a mysterious and barely visible dark figure comes toward the woman on the path. The shadow figure runs right at the woman, but she doesn't notice it and continues on her way. Did the spirit possess her? Well, this captured our imaginations. As it turns out, after doing some research, I found the video is VFX produced by YouTuber Dark3. Still, the image will prompt you to look over your shoulder the next time you think you're alone. You never know what's behind you until it's too late. A strange and mysterious object is found in the woods by a YouTuber named Grant and has his whole group of friends startled by what's inside. Wrapped in tape and caught in the bushes is a creepy red color, faded from being out here so long. They pull at the tape and three minutes later, they are finally ready to reveal the revolting contents inside. Hold on, open it up for a minute, I gotta, I gotta record it. Look at it in there! What is that? Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> Gray floating chunks rise to the top of the gelatinous pile, an unknown mystery sludge that blows them back with a rotten stench on a windless day. They run away from it more than once. Things get weirder as a frightening conclusion creeps over them. Hey, this is like a somebody's body. You like somebody's body? Huh? I don't know. I'm holding my breath every time I go over there. Okay, it's kind of sketch, bro. Why you with duct tape? I'm calling out one. Don't call the don't call the emergency one. Someone is leaving this weird thing in the forest, one of the scariest finds of their life, and whoever it is has a lot of duct tape. There is a lake nearby, so I hope it's a fishing cooler full of improperly disposed bait and not what they fear it is. We never get an answer to this unexplained video, so tell me what you think this mystery substance was that made them call 911. A remote shanty house in the middle of nowhere. It's gotta be abandoned, right? Posted to r slash ghosts by livid excuse 1640. This video reminds every paranormal explorer to be always on their guard. The Redditor is driving down a dirt road at night in what appears to be the boonies with no lights around apart from a faint, distant glow. And yet in the middle of nowhere they come upon a rundown white house. It's dark and clearly abandoned, or so you think, as the Redditor drives slowly past, shining a flashlight onto the house. He spotlights its empty and broken windows, nothing else, that is, until he zooms in on a center window. Here appears a white hooded figure without discernible features. The realization of what they're seeing scares them enough to drop their camera and drive away. While many Redditors in the comments believe the figure is a squatter, rather than a ghost, this sighting at an assumedly abandoned house would be unsettling regardless. The Redditor writes in the comments, I've been in the house once and it's like the people living there just up and left clothes in closets, dishes in the sink, toys on the floor. It was wild. I got halfway down the hallway and something that felt like pure evil came over me and I ran back out. He also shares some still photos with varying exposures that he took from the clip. What do you see in the Rorschach ink blot? This is only a test. A man is all by himself when he hears a wild animal tearing through his home. Eventually, he corners it in the bathroom and cautiously enters with a camera. This is what he records moments before running away to call the police. A wide-eyed humanoid slowly straightens out while eyeing him with a calm expression. Like the uploader says, 
It's hard to tell if this was a human or not, and everything from genetic experiments to the rake has been suggested in the comments. Is this video real? And if so, what do you think it was? If there was a soundtrack to your nightmares, it would probably sound like this. Posted to TikTok by Hannah Hallett, she writes simply, Um, help? You'd be seeking help too if this Yankee Doodle was blaring outside your window in the darkness of night. Hannah captures what looks like an ice cream truck making a U-turn on her road in the darkness. Well, that's a little odd considering the time of day, but not overly scary. The fact that the truck's haunting children's music is blaring from its speakers, even as darkness envelopes the night, is absolutely terrifying. Who is this ice cream man trying to attract? Imagine this nightmare fuel filtering into your subconscious as you fall off to sleep. Pretty sure nightmares would be a guarantee. In a virtual reality game, this dude leveled up. YouTuber Mario Lara posts this video of what appears to be a tiny being entering into his virtual reality. Watch the doorway behind him. At first, it looks like a small child. But it moves too fast to be anything human. Has a figment from this man's game stepped into his reality? I think that may be what's happening here. Or maybe we've all become so digitally disconnected from reality that we're glitching into the matrix. Mind blown. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.